Hi everyone. Some people, when they start solving this math problem, they'll start with six plus five, which equals 11. So they'll write 11. Then they'll bring the times two down and the division four down or the division symbol and then the four down. And now they're looking at this. And so they multiply 11 times two, which is 22. And then they'll bring down the division symbol down and the four down. Now they're looking at 22 divided by four. And so they'll write it like this, 22 over four. And now they're looking at this and then they'll break it down to a simplest form. So they divide by like this, they divide 22, the 22 divided by two, which equals 11. So have a 22 is 11 and have a four is two. And you cannot simplify this fraction or improper fraction to its lowest term. Um, so this is the answer. And this is incorrect. Let me show you how to solve this math problem correctly. So they're not using PAMDAS. And PAMDAS is telling me that multiplication will go first, not addition. So five times two is 10. And then I'll bring down the plus or the six plus down. And then I'll bring down the division symbol down and the four down. Now we have six plus 10 divided by four. And then looking back at pandas, you are dividing first, not adding first. So you are starting with 10 divided by four. So you'll write it like this. 10 divided by 4 because we want to make the math easy and let's bring down the 6 and let's turn the 6 into a fraction we know that 6 over 1 equals 6 does not change to 6 and then we are adding these two fractions we're going to use this method called the butterfly method where I am going to multiply these two numbers so we're making the wing and let's do that. So six times four is what? 24. So I'll write the 24 up here, 24. And then you make the next wing. So you multiply 10 times one, which is 10 right here. And don't forget your antennas. There you go. There. And then we'll make a body down here. So we multiply these two. 1 times 4 is 4. And next, we want to add your 24 plus 10, which equals what? 34, right? Over 1, oh, we write this as the, the 4 as the denominator, sorry. So the four goes at the bottom. So that's our denominator. We got our numerator. Now we, and then we wrote down our denominator, which is the four. Now we have 34 over four. And we need to break this to this fraction, this improper fraction into its uh, simplest form. So I'm just going to um, divide it by two. Both numbers are even. So I know half of 30, let me just divide it by two like this. I know half of 30 is 15 and half of four is two. So 15 plus two is 17. So I'll write it up here over half of four is two. So now we have 17 over two and this cannot be um, broken to a simplest. I mean, this is it. You can't break it to a simplest. I mean, this is it. <laughs> you can't break this. Um, and this improper fraction to its simplest form. This is it. And now let's get a mixed number as an answer and also a decimal answer as well. So yeah, this is the answer in a improper fraction form, but let's go ahead and use long division to find our mixed number and decimal answer. So 17 will be the dividend and two will be the divisor. So how many times can two fit into 17? Eight times. And then eight times two is 16. So 17 minus 16 equals one.
how many times can two fit into one? You cannot, so we need to borrow zero. So I'll add a decimal after the 17, and then add a decimal after the eight, and then give the zero to the, to the one, and the one becomes 10. How many times can two fit into 10? Five times. So I'll write the five up there, and five times two is 10. So 10 minus 10 is zero. So your decimal answer is 8.5. So I'll write it here, 8.5. And then our mix number answer is eight. That's the whole number and we need a proper fraction answer. I mean, you have a whole number and then a proper fraction next to the eight or the whole number. So you write the um, remainder at the top and your denominator from this over here. So it's 8, 1 over 2, or 8.5. So there you go. Those are your three answers. You have it in a improper fraction form, a mixed number form, and a decimal form. And there you go. Thank you for watching. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.